This video covers some troubleshooting ideas for fit test machines. I've got my particle generator over here with water and a salt tablet that's been put in there and mixed. Uh, normally that would be further away from the units, but just I've set it up this way for now. I've got the Sabata MT-05C and I've got the AccuFit 9000. So the either of the fit testers should be stored at room temperature. You wouldn't want to leave them outside in your vehicle and then bring them in, uh, especially if it was cold out. You want to have it starting out about uh, room temperature. Um, you also want to do the testing in a small room with bad ventilation because either one of them is using particles coming from the particle generator into the air and then testing how many particles get into the mask. Uh, with the MT 05C or the Sabata unit, uh, you don't have to worry about alcohol. It doesn't use alcohol. Um, the AccuFit 9000 does use reagent grade alcohol and that's one of the things that's, uh, that happens with uh, these types of fit testers that the alcohol is stored in a chamber like this. There will be a line uh, that it's supposed to be filled to. Um, that alcohol can absorb moisture and basically gets uh, weaker over time. Uh, so you want to make sure you have fresh alcohol. So we want to have a certain amount of particles in the air as well. So with the, uh, with the Sabata unit, we've got very defined particles depending on what you're testing. So uh, the background should be for N95 mode, uh, it should be 4 to 40,000 and try not to exceed 50,000. For non-SCBA, like half and full face respirators, it should be 20 to 80,000 on this unit. And on, in, um, for SCBA, uh, you'd want to have 70 to 150,000 uh, as background particles. With the AccuFit, if you're testing uh, half or full face respirators, uh, like non N95, you'd want to be a thousand or better. It actually shows that as you're doing the, the daily check, uh, it'll show you what, um, what range you should be in. Also with either one of them, you don't want to be a lot higher than those levels as well. Um, just because you can flood the instrument and uh, so with either one you'd want to have the person put on the respirator and give it a bit of time to settle on their face also they'd be breathing in and out and kind of clearing it out a bit getting some of the particles out um, even the time of year could be a challenge in the summer when it's very humid uh, particles uh, well, we just have generally uh, more issues with fit testing so uh, July and August can be, uh, be tough months to do fit testing. Um, things that I've seen uh, issues here um, as far as the having failures when we're doing fit testing is uh, the fittings can be loose when it comes back from being uh, clean and calibrated. These can be loose down here or even stretched a bit. Uh, when, the, uh, when the HEPA filter is put on, if it's pushed on too far, or in this case the fitting's fairly big. If it's really pushed on, you can actually get leaking through here so at the end of the tube. So some clients have had to cut this back so that it uh, doesn't leak particles in. For another thing to make sure is the pass levels. So for um, N95 or half face, so either one of these here, it's 100 is the pass level. Um, if you get into full face that's not SCBA, it's 500. If you're testing SCBA, it's 1,000. Um, so yeah, say with either one of them, if a customer is having a problem uh, getting people to pass, one thing I'll ask them to do is to actually put the filter on to the unit and fit test the filter because this is just like having someone hooked up. So like with a with a mask and everything but it's it, it should pass with the filter so if you test it and if it fails with the filter then you know it's something is with the machine like maybe it's leaking or maybe the alcohol is bad or something like that um, if it tests with the filter like if you pass with the filter on then you you know it's maybe something with the mask itself so i've had where these adapters over time 
someone's put them on and they should like it should positively lock into place and not but sometimes people over tighten it and it strips it and then it leaks through there um, just in general that you want to look at the uh, the respirator to make sure that it's in good condition that it seals well are the HEPA filter or sorry are the uh, p100 filters are they in good condition I've had um, some filters that have been used for years and years and they just you know they're not uh, they're, it's time to replace them it's good to if it's questionable if you're having issues it's good to replace them also um, these see how this is stored in a in a little bag I've had the where these are open and uh, we've had failures just because they've been kind of sitting around um, again when you're testing someone uh, you want to make sure that they're clean shaven and they haven't smoked or vaped or or maybe even eaten or drank anything when they within the last half an hour just anything that may they may breathe out that could uh, um, cause particles to uh, to show up because uh, all we're really doing is we're measuring the particles in the air with this tube and then we hook this up and this other tube is measuring uh, particles inside the mask and see this little tube coming through the valve um, so if you know if there's any leaks here 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 um, if the the uh, exhalation valve if that you want to make sure that that's in good good condition as well but if the person has say they smoked recently um, they could be breathing out particles that the machine interprets as a leak Also, if um, during the test, uh, the person being tested should not talk only, they should only talk during the talking part of the test. Uh, it's a good idea to only bring maybe one or two people into the room while you're testing so that they don't joke around or have a conversation because that can cause them to fail. So I think that's some of the main things that cause issues. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully this uh, helps you out.